Up to scratch, mastering a handy English phrase. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English language and its myriad of expressions. Today, we're going to unravel the meaning and usage of the phrase, up to scratch. This is a commonly used idiom in English, and understanding it can really add a bit of flair to your conversational skills. So, let's dive in. The phrase, up to scratch, has an interesting origin. It dates back to the early 19th century and is rooted in the world of boxing. In those days, a line or a scratch was drawn in the center of the ring, and boxers had to stand toe to toe on this line before a fight began. Being up to scratch, therefore, meant that a boxer was ready and able to compete. Over time, this phrase has evolved in its usage, but the essence of being adequately prepared or meeting a certain standard has remained. In modern English, up to scratch is used to describe something meeting a certain standard or quality. When something is up to scratch, it means it's sufficiently good for its intended purpose. It's often used in situations where quality, skill, or condition is being assessed. For example, if a teacher says a student's essay is not up to scratch, it means the essay does not meet the required standards. Let's look at some examples to understand how this phrase is used in everyday language. The restaurant's hygiene wasn't up to scratch, so we decided to dine somewhere else. I need to practice more. My piano skills are not quite up to scratch. The final report was up to scratch, so we submitted it to the client without any revisions. By using this phrase in various contexts, you can subtly convey your assessment of quality or readiness. And that's a wrap on Up to Scratch. We hope this video has been enlightening and adds a new phrase to your English vocabulary arsenal. Remember, learning a language is all about understanding the nuances of its phrases and expressions. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Keep practicing, and you'll soon be up to scratch in your English language journey. See you in the next video.